can't get your arms very far overhead before your rib cage flares, that's representing a compensatory strategy for a lack of shoulder mobility. Hey guys, happy Friday. So a fun little experiment for you. I've been learning a little bit more about the foot. That's um, really interesting with the foot and the pelvic floor connection is sometimes when we have high rigid arches and kind of live on the outside of our feet, we also tend to carry a lot of tension in the backside maybe the glutes. So if you're standing and you think about actually just like kind of rolling to the outside of your feet, kind of creating that high arch. So if you've been taught to screw your feet into the ground into a squat, you can kind of instantly feel when you do that, that the backside of the glutes, the lower part tends to tense up so if I kind of roll out I feel this tension and then when I allow myself to kind of connect with that inner part of the heel it's like I feel my sits bones lift so I roll outside feel that tension in the glutes and then kind of find that inner part of my foot soft knees and I can feel the sits bones almost lift so kind of tuning into the foot is going to have a big impact and where you feel tension on the backside and just one example of how the feet and the pelvic floor are connected